Hello, Andy. Welcome to the Vibe. Hello, Lee. Really excited to talk to you about the traditions and customs of how Dragon Boat Festival is being celebrated in both of our countries. I'm wondering, what is it like in Indonesia? How do people celebrate this special occasion? The Dragon Boat Festival in Indonesia, we know it as a uh, Pechun. Pechun is a phrase come from Hokkien dialect, which means uh, rowing or paddling a boat especially dragon boat. So in Indonesia, we do the dragon boat rising on the river. But because in Indonesia, this dragon boat festival is not a public holiday. So mostly we celebrate it on the weekend closest to the day. Another is quite unique is we have uh, the duck catching competition. The ducks will be released into the river with a ribbon tied on their wings and a certain price name is written on that ribbon. So when we successfully catch the duck, we can see what is written on it and get the price. So releasing a duck is uh, also to commemorate Chu Yuan and also mean that uh, the, uh, we Chinese believe that it uh, letting go something like something not good from our body or even something not good from our life, we just uh, release it. Sounds like a really difficult competition to win. You have to be a really <laughs> good swimmer, right? Yeah. So one of the traditions here in China is for people to hang mugwort leaves or calamus on doors or windows of their homes. They're great repellents for insects, flies, and moth, and you can buy them for affordable pricing in your local market. And interestingly, over the past couple of years, they've become immensely popular among the young Chinese during the Duanwu Festival. So if you do a quick search, of mugwort bouquet on lifestyle-oriented applications, you can find a ton of tutorials or instructions that teach you how to craft your own bouquet. Traditionally, you would simply use a red rope to tie the mugwort leaves together and hang them directly on the door. But now, presentation is very important. It needs to be pretty. So you need to treat these mugwort leaves and calamus leaves as you would to make a fresh cut flower bouquet. I also know that in Indonesia, you have this special tradition of trying to balance an egg during the uh, Pechun or Duanwu festival. Can you tell me more about that tradition? We do some uh, like balancing a raw egg on the day of the Dragon Boat Festival at the noon. This is a very special activity in Indonesia when the Tuan Wu comes. Because of the position of the sun and earth at the time, it maybe forms a special gravity between the sun and earth. So that we can balance a raw egg in a standing or vertical position. Uh, we even have the national record for uh, balancing or standing the most egg in, in the same time for 3,000 3, and 500 uh, more eggs in Pangkal Pinang, a, a, a city in uh, Bangka Bitung province in Indonesia. And then I would love to have a chance actually to spend this uh, Tuan Wu Festival or Dragon Boat Festival in China one day. Do you have any recommendation? So if you have the chance to come to China during the Dragon Boat Festival, I would highly recommend you go visit Mi Luo City in central China's Hunan province. Uh, the Milo River in the city is said to be the place where Chu Yuan have met his fate. So there are many commemorative activities found around town paying homage to this patriot. And in 2017, the city opened a cultural park featuring Chu Yuan Memorial Temple and a Duanwu Culture Experience Zone. So if you want to explore the history and origin of Duanwu Festival, Mi Luo City is the place where you want to check out. Oh, I really, really love to bring the story, what I see and what I experience there and, and bring back to Indonesia and share to my fellow Indonesian. Well, Andy, it has been great fun talking to you about how the Petsun Festival or the Duanwu Festival is being celebrated in both of our countries. It's great to share uh, what we, we do in Indonesia to, to the world, to Lin and, and the audience. And I hope that um, uh, people of the world will know more about Indonesia, especially about Indonesian Chinese, because we have a very different history from our Chinese of other place, and uh, we hope to know each other more, I think.